Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Well, you don't have to stop talking to me. She won't even look at me. She's upset because I'm not playing any more Slim Whitman. We listen to it all day. I'm not a big Slim Whitman fan. Just not. Never have been. I do like all kinds of music, uh, but there's some music that I'm just not into, right? Well, at least you're still sitting on my lap. I'll give you that. Thank you. I love you, too. So, uh, the other day, uh, a recommendation was made to me, uh, just kind of accidentally, inadvertently. Uh, I don't think she realized that I liked this kind of music, but I, I've kind of, like, now become a fan of the band Ratatat. I have to thank uh, Mona over on friendfeed.com. Uh, friendfeed.com slash Mona's feed um, is, is where you can find out more about uh, her. Uh, I also like following, uh, well, you, actually. Are you on Friendfeed? It's where I'm participating more and more every day, uh, learning about your interests, your likes, uh, discovering things that I otherwise would never have discovered uh, other than going through front feed. So I started playing Ratatat in uh, Firefox uh, using uh, the Rhapsody player. That's how I play Rhapsody in Firefox. Um, and uh, it's great. I've yet to hear a song that I don't like. Uh, the, I, I, it's really it's nice. You've got. I, I, I would play it now, but I don't exactly have the rights to play the music, which is kind of disappointing because it's really, really good. So as I was playing Ratatat, um, Stephen Bennett uh, sent me a top five list of bands that have the similar sound or vibe. The first one is Dosh. These guys sound quite a bit like Ratatat, he says. They combine a variety of instrumentals with an unpredictable melody, and it makes for a really unique sound. He recommends the song O oh, Mexico. The next one is Talk Demonic. He says, I'm not sure what to make of the name of the band, but their music has a really definitive beat to it. He says that my speakers would take full advantage of the bass featured in a lot of their songs. He says he likes the song Starry Dynamo. I'm sorry I keep touching my nose right now. It's because... <laughs> I'm allergic to dogs. I know. Can you smell the irony? I can't. Number three, L1011. He says, from what I can tell, these guys really know what they're doing as far as instrumentals are concerned. The percussion tends to stand out over the rest of the melody, but the background music still rocks. See what I mean in Sorry About Your Irony. The title always makes me think of George Costanza. So apparently another Seinfeld fan here. Number four, Blue Man Group. And he says, obviously, you've probably heard of these guys, and I have. I've seen them live. Pretty interesting show. Number five, Couch. This band has more techno or futuristic sound to them. I miss some of the instrumentals when I listen to these guys, but a lot of their songs could go really well in outer space montage or something. It's very techy. Try the song. Okay, this is uh, this is German, and I'm going to do it in my best German accent, even though I don't really have a German accent. It's more like a pseudo German accent. Zwei Streifen im Blau. I don't know. It's. I'm assuming that's. It looks German. Maybe it's maybe it's not. Maybe is it dog? Is that how you guys sound? Well, anyway, uh, Stephen, I appreciate the recommendation. Um, I listen to just about anything and everything, uh, and I do like the eight bit sound. As a matter of fact, today I switched my ringtone to a potentially familiar eight bit sound uh, from yesteryear. Uh, the uh, Buana from Buana.tv passed this along. It was a, the ringtone that he, he dug up. He actually, he may have created it. I don't know, but I absolutely love it because let me play it back for you here. And if you don't know that song, you are not a geek. Every this is like. If you're a geek, this is, like, imprinted in your DNA. Like, it just is. There's... Dogs, by the way, are absolutely impervious to 8-bit uh, music. Uh, some other 8-bit music that I love, 8-bit Peoples, which is more of a collection of, uh, I guess, musicians, 8-bit uh, artists. Um, you know, I've... I've I'm always, you know, interested in, in finding out what you guys think and, and your uh, interests, uh, and uh, you know, specifically with music. I love expanding my own, um, I guess, uh, let's see, what would it be? Um, uh, audiophonic Horizons? Uh, can I say that? Is that fair? To... She's gone. She doesn't care. 
Um, I also just got an email here at, during the course of this video. Uh, someone was recommending Onslaught 2, and I don't know if that's the name of a band or it may be a name of a band, I don't know. And he made a recommendation for unsigned.com for unsigned music, which is good because if I'm playing music here, in, you know, I can't do it during a video because I don't own the rights to the music, which is really depressing because I'm sure these bands are good. And I can tell you, Ratatat is really good. I really like their sound. Um, so, you know, hopefully you guys can make some recommendations and I'll be able to listen to them on headphones or whatever, you know. But the reason why is because I'm streaming my entire life, at least most of it, online. This, this video camera here that I'm pointing at uh, is pretty much always on. And uh, it's uh, streaming out over the web in conjunction with this chat room. We're full of geeks, really. Love talking hardware, software, music sometimes, video games, video game music. Uh, at other times, 8-bit uh, stuff. I love 8-bit stuff. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's just Maybe it's because that's how I grew up, right? I grew up in that era of 8-bit. Now, it's classic. For me, that was like state-of-the-art. That was cutting edge, man. I know. I am a lot older than I actually appear. I'm also closer to you than I may seem to be. Not physically, of course, but I'm in your browser's cache. And it doesn't get any more intimate than that, at least as far as computers go. Anyway, you can find me streaming live online 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.